Welcome to this video on how to sculpt for beginners. So today I'm going to be taking you through basics of Blender sculpting and how to use it all. And then if you want, you can click on the link in the description and go through to a course that will have this video and it will have a full length course on sculpting a male torso. So let's get into it. Okay, so the simplest way, you can either just go click on the sculpting workflow at the top left, or you can change your scene yourself. So usually what you do, so you get rid of your timeline because you don't really need it for when you're sculpting, and you go click on this and change it to the, actually no, you don't change it. So you go select your cube, or let's just delete everything, okay? And then it sometimes helps to just get rid of like the floor and the, the, the thing, okay? And then what you can do is you're gonna go add a sphere and then uh, just subdivide it. So I'll use control two to subdivide or you can, or you can just go add a subdivision and apply it. And now we have something just to start off with, okay? And then what we can do, if you want to change up the look a bit, you can go click up here and add a matte cap. Uh, you can add a custom one by clicking on settings and you can see where uh, map caps are. You can just add your own one and stuff like that. So you can just go find some on the internet or just go map caps and choose one over here. So you can see there's quite a few of them. And I usually prefer working with like this one is pretty cool. And also just like the default, the default one, this one. So it's up to you, you can choose whatever, but I'll keep it on this one for now, okay? And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna select your object and go control tab and go to sculpt mode, okay? And you can see on the left side, we have a bunch of brushes. We can pull this out and you can see, you can see all the names or you can just have two like that. So it depends on what you want. And then you can go, you can see all the names. If you want to learn like the hotkeys, you just go shift space and you can see it pulls up this menu with all the brushes that you can use. And then, so I'll be uh, giving you the, the hotkeys for some of them. So the most common one, uh, so the common ones, you have G for grab, so you can see it's over there. And also you're gonna need some mirror. So if you, if you ha don't have this enabled, you can see it's not mirrored, it's not uh, on either side. If I click on, on X, it's mirrored across X axis and you can see now it's mirrored. So it's just very useful because it saves literally half the time. So we're going to be sculpting a male uh, torso in like a neutral position, so we won't have to, like, we would need the symmetry because it's going to be in a normal position. And then at the end, you can pose it if you want, and you just save a lot of time, okay? So, okay, okay, I should have explained this earlier, but when you are sculpting there to, when you draw, so you hold left click and you can see it draws, and then you can do control left click and then it will start removing, so... Yeah, don't know why I explained it earlier. Cool. Okay, so I got my reference set up. So just some like muscular male. So what you're gonna do, first off, some in front of you, and I'll work with a tablet right now. So I have a graphics tablet. You can use a mouse, which is perfectly fine. It's just, you have to pay for a graphics tablet if you want. Um, but basically, uh, you I don't have any a numpad, and if I did, it will probably be behind my uh, drawing tablet. So what I do is I use Alt and uh, middle click, and you can see it kind of like switches between views, which is pretty useful. And yeah, so usually, so the grab brush, it literally does exactly what it sounds like, it grabs. So you can go just like drag this down, and then, so we're just gonna give it like a torso shape, so like this, flatten this part out. See, it's like for the, the butt, this is like the whole pelvis. You're gonna drag this out for the, uh, also, for the pelvis, and you kind of just give it like a shape for the, um, also, the rib cage. So I'm just rounding this out a bit. So you could either like check, like move it with the grab brush, but a simpler way is going shift space and six. So what that does, it pulls up the scrape brush, as you can see over here. And what that does is you can see it kind of like removes parts of it from there, and. Uh, yeah, so it's just a quicker way of like removing parts of the mesh and like flattens it out. And then if you wanted to smooth something out, you can hold shift and draw and you can see it starts smoothing. 
But if you wanted to do like less, like not be as powerful, go shift S and then you can see it takes you to the smooth brush and go shift F and lower this like this. Oh yeah, should have explained that first, but F is for the size of your brush. So if I go to clay strips over here, which is shift space and two, you can see if I go F, you can see it changes the size and it also changes the radius up here. So you can see like this, it's small, you can see here it's big. Um, and then shift F is the strength. So you can see if I make it super low, you can see it doesn't change much. And if I go super high, then it changes quite a bit. And then you can also see you can change them up at the top here. So if you don't want to use shift F and F. Also, these little little buttons over here, basically that is pressure sensitivity. So if you see, if I go here, you can see it changes with the sensitivity. So if I go lightly, it does this. If I go hard, it does this. Okay. And so you won't have this if you have a mouse, but so say you don't want to change the radius with how hard you're pressing, you can do that and stuff like that. So you can see it changes slightly, it changes a lot. So not necessary, but just something to know. So usually it's common just to take off the radius. So you don't want it to change as you press, but maybe you do, you never know. And then, so if you want something, you have something called the remesh. So you can see at the top right, remesh like this. And basically what this does is it's to uh, like redo the topology. So you can see if I go drag this out like this, you can see this is not great. And the way you fix this is by going control R. Well, actually first you go shift R and you can see it's choose the size of how big you want it to be like this. And you go control R and you can see like this and it fills it with like a, uh, like a grid mesh. And it's just a quicker way of adding details and like fixing like uh, parts where you have low topology. And yeah, so let's just carry on sculpting. So I'll use the, uh, I'll use the snake hook brush, which basically just pulls it out very easily like that. And then control R to remesh like this. And then I'll use the uh, blob or inflate brush to build up the shoulders a bit like this. And I go across like that. You can see sometimes it's uh, easier just to add in the arms. So I'm going to go shift a cylinder like this. And then just scale Z. So Z twice to do the local, and you can see like that. And then I'll just select it, add mirror, add modifier, mirror. I took the mirror object to be the body like that. Okay. And then I'm just going to fix this slightly. So you can see this will not be rounded like that. And then this would be like flat. Okay. So I'm going to get the crease brush, which is over here, or you can use shift C and then you can see it just adds like a crease like this. So I'm building, I'm doing the, uh, what's it? The rib cage. So I'm just going to mark it out like this. And then you can see we have it over there. So this is usually where would be the thinnest part over here. And then you would have the pelvis poke out, which is the like bone structure there at the bottom. So you would have it like a bony part over here. So you could use a shift C to add a crease like this. Okay. So this is kind of the muscle that we here and I'll get the scrape brush and kind of smooth it, uh, put it like this. Okay. So you can see there. And then I'm going to round this out a bit. Cool. So usually in a, like a male character, you will have it, uh, they have very defined lats. So the lats are the big muscle at the back that helps with pull-ups. So you would go like block it in like this. So just add some more resolution to so shift R and then control R. So you can see the lats is basically, it's a muscle that goes start this and then goes across like this. Then you have the shoulder blades, which kind of goes like this. So you have like a square piece over here. And this is basically a bone that connects to the uh, to the arm, like over here. So you can see it would go like over here, poke out like this. Okay, so there. Then you have the shoulder muscle. So I'm going to go to the clave strips again, which is just space in two. And then you'd have the shoulder muscle on top of that uh, bone. 
So that connects to the bone over here, like this. And then you have the, so let's get the, what's it? The clavicles or the collarbone. And you can see the collarbone will go like here and you like split it off so there. And then it usually goes in a shape like this. Oh, maybe let's make it a bit better. Um, draw that. You see like there, so it's smooth. So you can see if I go shift, uh, shift C to go to the crease brush. So I go like this. And then, yeah, cool. And then let's just straighten it out a bit like that. Okay, cool. And then I'm going to add a neck. So I'm just going to go Shift A. Uh, just, just add a UV sphere. Drag this up. And then we can just go uh, put X marine on and just drag this up like this. And shape it to have like a neck. And then you can even go add a face. So just go have a UV sphere. Drag this up. So give it like a face shape. Just something simple, doesn't really need to be that good. Okay, we did not put X mirror on, so let's go add it again. So X mirror, we can just drag it down, pull it out like this. Drag the face down slightly, cool. And then drag the face in like this. So go to top view. That's kind of the right shape, so you want the ta to tape it in like that. And yeah, okay. So let's drag this face forward. So I think it's next too big. And then, okay, if you want to get access to the rest of this uh, course, which is uh, in total, it's about 40 minutes with this video. And then get the same result, go click on the description and you'll get a 30 day free trial Skillshare and access to the course.